Stare, a local pirate radio station, claims to have answers about the fade. Some residents welcome the station's frank assessment of the disease. Well, we're finally hearing the truth. The city council was too afraid to tell us. But not everyone is convinced. It's wishful thinking. Anyone can say they know what's going on. That doesn't mean they do. This is Celio Dash with Channel 37. Acquired friendly VIP. Don't bunch up. VIP. Get to the evac. Keep you safe. Go!
stepping out.
recoil plans to steal combat-grade androids from the source. Make sure it doesn't happen. exactly 10 seconds to explain yourself. Oh, no, no, no. My family was a team, but somehow she ran it without ever taking charge. She wasn't overbearing? Did she push you too hard? No. She pushed just enough for us to live up to our own potential. We tracked a sacred coil. I'm fine with that.
This must be where they're planning. Stopping si Breach! Breach! Shoot anything that moves. Good job, City 30. We located Sacred Coil. They aren't. into something delicious, why not give Burger Palace a try? We have everything you need to fill your belly, or bellies, depending on your species. Our mouth-watering patties are grown from a kelp-derived protein base designed to appeal to everyone. Pending approval from the Global Truth and Reconciliation Commission, you can find us in most city centers. Burger Palace. New name, new location, same great taste. under our noses, their headquarters. Don't bunch up.
What's up?
Reach, reach, reach! Don't bunch up.
Darn it! No ammo! Back at it! Cover me while I reload! Reloading! Squad. Sacred Coil got more than they bargained for when they threw open that gate. That gatekeeper must have been sent here five years ago. It was stuck in transit since XCOM won the war. Scattered cells remain throughout the city, but Sacred Coil as an organization is no more. After reviewing the intel from your investigation, we're left with more questions than answers. Sacred Coil wanted to assemble and open a psionic gate. This required secrecy. Mayor Nightingale's death made their goal more difficult to achieve. Worse, there are clear signs they had external backing. Until we know more, we've designated their silent partner, Atlas. Should we run down leads on Atlas? No, there's too little to go on. Mayor Nightingale's death remains your priority. You mentioned two other groups who could have aided her killers, but... Focus on one. If Atlas becomes more than just a theory, we'll update. Gray Phoenix is... Recently? Patchwork, when did you get in? Not so long ago. What's wrong? I specked out. Which is current. I'll be fine. Pick any of There's so much. forces feel overwhelmed, they may attempt to cut their losses in a spectacular fashion. But they might destroy evidence or activate a bomb as you approach, whatever the case. 
stop them. Anonymous tip said Brady, you got Sounds bleak. I can confirm. Please tell me. Not in <sighs> We're going in. so far. Send me to that. Making a path.
under large quantities of Illyrium. Why do they need that much power? Illyrium access would allow them to refine an explosive powerful enough to kill Mayor Nightingale. Grey Phoenix has the means. Find out if they had the motive. Have you noticed the growing amount of violence in our city? I have, Lorgo, I have. Makes me wonder if 31 PD knows how to do its job. That's a bold statement, Roger. All I'm saying is that it didn't used to be this way. Not when Shrike was keeping the peace. Oh, come on. Mercenaries make bad police. Everyone knows that. Maybe you're right, but at least there was peace. This so-called sacred coil was about to open a portal under our very streets. Just, just think of that. Dire as that may be, let's not forget the lies they spread about the faith. You're right, Gorgo. That was downright despicable. It's important to understand their draw, Roger. For strangers feeling sick, perhaps unwelcome, the promise of a cure is a powerful drive. But to endanger so many just to save yourself. Indeed. Such was the insidious nature of Sacred Coil. Phoenix is after experimental tech. Keep it out of their hands. Don't bunch up!
I'm going. was slow to impound restricted weapons after the war. Some locals took advantage. Cutting off the flow to Grey Phoenix will disrupt the local arms trade. A large crowd consisting primarily of mutons protested the continued closure of the starport today, insisting on access to the facility. Artisan Glorva of the Ship Workers League had this to say. Those starships are sacred territory. To keep us from them is yet another cruelty, one we have learned to expect. Jacinda Schultz of the Starport Authority responded. Prudence is not cruelty. We can't allow access to the facility until it is deemed secure. This is Celio Dash for Channel 37.
Gray Phoenix thinks they're one three. What kind of one? Heavy one. Gray Phoenix. Stay behind me. Breach! Breach! Don't bunch up.
Overwatch. Deep breath. Pick your shots. Heads up. Multiple occasions, great. They can't vanish. Shrike Network. City 31 paid them to provide security just after the war. After the formation of 3-1 PD, Shrike was cut loose. By then, they were more of a mercenary outfit than resistance group. Who's in charge? Each cell. And other? Patient. And if standard. The continued protest of the starport's closure grew contentious as several terrestrial supremacist groups arrived to counter protest, said Artisan Glorva of the Ship Workers League. These people share the beliefs of those who killed Mayor Nightingale. They seek to provoke us. Well, the city does nothing. A masked spokesperson from Earth above all insisted otherwise. Alien pilgrimage? They want access to armed starships inside that port. Of course we're here to say otherwise. More as it develops. Channel 37, Celio Dash reporting. 
If a hostile force will cause imminent harm, you'll need to stop them by any means necessary. As always, subduing targets is preferable. We learn far more from captures than corpses. has locked down these apartments. Get it? Breach! Breach! targets. Way to cover us. outside the starboard. Commissioner Maloof condemned the fighting. Of course protesters should speak their minds. We want a war for that privilege. But 31 PD will not tolerate violent protest. Artisan Glorva of the Ship Workers League issued a statement. We follow your rules, and yet only mutons were injured today. If 31 PD can or will not protect us, we will protect ourselves. This is Celio Dash for Channel 37.
Phoenix relies upon covert strongholds and safe houses to operate in City 31. Locate and dismantle these locations. They won't have anywhere to run. Tensions at the start were increased today as Muton protesters arrived with what appeared to be clubs. Artisan Glorva of the Ship Workers League bristled at the suggestion. These are tools for fixing starships. They are spiritual implements, not weapons. A leaked video from Earth Above All seemed to urge escalation. If they swing at you, it's their ticket back to prison. Wear thick padding, provoke verbally, and make sure it's on camera. More as it develops. Channel 37, Helio Dash reporting. Hostile forces may attempt to guard a mission-critical device that needs to be stopped. Destroy the device in question when authorized. Keep your distance if you... Gray Phoenix spotted at this hydro... This plant is... this out generator
There's a secure store. This place? How does the... These post... To do... Exactly. Breach! Breach! Phoenix deprived of their strongholds, they have much less ground to call home. pursuits. Zell and Yarvo are unknown quantities. It isn't clear who caused the shots between them.